Hey, everybody. It is November 23rd, and it's National Espresso Day. I love espresso. Now, look, I used to be a tea guy when I was younger. My dad loves tea, so naturally, we all drank tea in my house. I didn't know crap about coffee or espresso, but oh, man, I love it. I love it. I got lucky. There was this amazing coffee shop that I used to go to back in the day. They really taught me a lot about espressos and coffee and just opened that, that whole world to me. So I figured, what better way to celebrate this holiday than for me to bring in a guest and help teach you guys a little bit about this amazing drink. So without further ado, Maximo, Maximo Espresso, come out here, man. Tell these folks about Espresso. Come on, man. Come on. Grazie, grazie, ah, grazie. Maximo, thank you so much for coming out today on such short notice to help me with this video. Ah, don't worry about it, Paisan. I am so juiced right now. <laughs> I can, I can probably run a five, five K marathon right now. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Mamma mia. <laughs> I know what you mean. I know what you mean. So, uh, Maximo, um, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself. Ah, mamma mia, I am a Maximo Espresso. Today I uh, run straight from Italy to tell you about the, the top 10 things you did not know about Espresso. Mmm, well. Cool, thanks Maximo. Hmm, 10 things I didn't know about Espresso. <laughs> Sweet, I'm kind of looking forward to this. So much I don't know. Yes, uh, Espresso, it's kind of like an art uh, and science mixed up together in one perfect drink. See? All right, let's hear it. Number one, espresso has no set taste. See, espresso is basically different elements that come together to develop a taste of a cup of espresso. There are so many different parts from the region or from where the beans grow to the pressure used to make the cream. It is like a fine wine. Eh, uh, cool, cool. Yes, I know, it's very, very cool. Mm. Number two, espresso does not have more caffeine than a traditional cup of coffee. So many people think that espresso is uh, so strong, but uh, it is just a cup of coffee in a concentrated, smaller form. Oh, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. So, if I drink a huge jug of espresso... You will explode. Number three, espresso. It has three main components. See, all espresso is made out of three basic components. The crema, the foamy top layer, the body, the middle layer with all the coffee stuff, and the heart makes up the bitter bottom layer. It's kind of like a like a parfait or a sundae, huh? Uh, yes, uh, I guess you could say that. Uh, number four, it should be a stirred. So to achieve the greatest flavor, some say that the espresso should be stirred. By mixing the components together, they all balance out to make a perfect blend of flavors. It is a very, very nice. Mmm, that sounds good. That is so true. Number five. It was invented in the early 1900s. You see, during the Industrial Revolution in Italy, Italian factory owners were trying to shorten the coffee breaks for their workers. So, a guy named Luigi Bezzera built a machine that could concentrate the cup of coffee and make it all in about 30 seconds. That was very fast. So wait, wait, wait. So you're telling me that <laughs> espresso was basically invented so factory bosses could just cut down a worker's break time? Is that what you're saying? I know, I know. It's kind of it's kind of messed up now that you think about it. But hey, but what are you going to do? Number six. Uh, espresso will start losing the flavor within minutes after being brewed. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've heard this before. Like, my friend Marco from Italy, he actually taught me this. You gotta drink it quick like a shot. Number seven. Espresso is regulated by the Italian government. You see, because espresso is such a such an important part of a 
Italian daily life, the government oversees its consumption and its prices. Really? Huh. Yes. For example, uh, it is much cheaper if you drink espresso in a standing bar. See if you're sitting at a table. Espresso gets much, much more expensive. That's a pro tip for you, in case you're in Italy or something, I don't know. Uh, cool, 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 cool. I'll have to remember that. Number eight, you have to use a special size cup. You need to use a cup about a little larger than two ounces, which is roughly, you know, one shot of espresso. You see, if the cup is too big, then the espresso will start to cool down too fast. Ah, that's right, and that kind of goes back to point number six, right? You don't want it to cool down because it affects the flavor. Yes, exactly right. You paid attention. Number nine, the perfect brewing temperature of the espresso is 190 degrees Fahrenheit or 88 degrees Celsius, whichever you know system you use. I don't know. Cool, cool. Gotcha, gotcha. Keep it hot. And then finally, number 10. There's no such thing as an espresso bean. You see, espresso is basically just a type of uh, brewing technique and preparation. Yeah, you know, it's funny you should say that. I used to think that for the longest time that espresso was like a special kind of bean or something like that. It's just regular coffee. See, si, see, si, yes. Espresso is just high temperature water forced through a finely ground coffee beans. Cool, cool, there you have it. Thanks, Maximo, for sharing that top 10 list about things you might not know about espresso. Thanks so much, man. Ah, no problem. Ciao, bella, bella. Okay, so, like, if you want to celebrate this cool holiday, just go out and enjoy a nice cup of espresso. Maybe, you know, take a photo of it, uh, put it on social media, and use the hashtag National Espresso Day. Share it with your friends. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, Maximo, for coming over and sharing with us. And that's pretty much it. There's only one thing left to do. Thanks, everyone, for sticking around watching this video. Um, listen, if you like this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button and leave me a comment and subscribe. It lets me know that you really care and it inspires me. It makes me want to make more of these things, okay? So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. See you for the next holiday. All right, you guys, take care. Bye-bye.